What's going on, Charles Botenston? And obviously just wanted to uh, ensure that we understand what Darwin said, okay? Darwin has said that it is not the smartest, it is not the most intelligent, it is not the person or a thing or species that survives because they're the strongest, but the person or the species that's the most adaptable. When shit hits the fan, what do you do? Do you stay in your means or do you deviate? There's a letter that came out and it was called Tiger Mom. Highly recommend you, you read this article. And the article was saying why Asians uh, make better something or other. I think it was make, make better musicians. And the reason being is that their ability to focus on a singular event, a singular action for a while is way better in the Asian community because they can, they have the ability to just laser in and just practice and 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 practice, and practice even when they don't want to, and that's why they're the best. There is a rhetorical uh, retort to that article that was uh, published in, I think, the journal as well, Wall Street Journal. And in there, the guy said, fantastic, that's amazing. But when you're so linear, li linearly thinking, there's a box that you put yourself in because you say, this is the note. If I play this note because I see that note, I, I have a result. I see this note, I then play this note, that note, whether it's on a clarinet or anything, there is a tangible feeling, scene kind of action if A plus B equals C, okay? But when you're doing something that's creative or you're managing or the landscape of business changes or life changes, it throws you a curveball. The person that adapts is the one that's gonna survive, not the strongest and not the one that's the most intelligent, okay? So what does that mean to you? When things happen, how do you react? So I'm in business, if we don't get a listing or we get a listing, we have a buyer and the contract doesn't go through, do I adapt and say, okay, let's look for someone else? How do we actually change? Here's another example. I'm putting out content on social media and what people are actually consuming and watching, my numbers started to go down. So I said, okay, I'm not gonna change, but what I put out there does, okay? So you have to track everything. You have to adapt, all right? I want you want to wake up earlier and say you're really really tired you have to adapt waking up earlier by going to bed earlier okay you want to you want to get into a relationship you have to adapt your day so you can go out at night and bring someone out for a glass of wine or the movies or whatever you have to adapt your life you have a kid you have to adapt your life those are the ones that survive those are the ones that thrive those are the ones that actually can see a vision understand where they're gonna go. Uh, Zucks, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, he wants to connect the world. Jeff Bezos wants to have pretty much a, a, a utopia of easiness and, and, and uh, take away the inefficiencies of life. One click ordering. When you go and you have meetings, he just built this some, something called an Amazon Sphere, I think it's called, out in Seattle. And it's like these big, beautiful trees. They have 550 different plant species. They have birds and, and insects and things like that. He's adapting to sitting in, a, in an environment that isn't good for creativity or happiness. You have to adapt. So look at your life and say, okay, what do I need to change? If you are hard set and fast in your ways, you're never gonna be the best. You're never gonna be the best. Michael Jordan, anyone that is the best, they had to do something that was different. They had to adapt over their life. So this is what you do. You make a list of your top two priorities in life. It could be legacy, it could be impact. It could be have, the, have happiness and joy or loving relationships, whatever that is. And then you make that list and then you say, okay, what do I need to sacrifice? How do I, how do I adapt? So for me, sacrificing was, not, is, I should say, not going out as much, okay, during weekdays, okay? So dates are usually on weekends. We're hanging out with the boys on weekends, then dates, you know, I haven't dated as much, so I adapted. But what did I put in its place? A really good schedule. I wake up early, I go to the gym, I go to work, and I make sales calls. Those four things, are my priority. It could change when I start aging and I say, you know what, I wanna get into a relationship, I wanna have kids and things like that. Then I adjust a little bit, all right? How do you need to adapt to get to where you wanna get? Have an awesome day, subscribe to the video, 